Appalachian Wireless proudly brings you unlimited data. Unlimited data is only $80 a month for a single line. Four lines as low as $200. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless, an East Kentucky network company. Data speeds slow to 25 gigabytes per line to 512 kilobits for phones and tablets and 15 gigabytes for modems. See store for more details. No justice in West Virginia. No justice in West Virginia. No justice in West Virginia. All 55 counties in West Virginia were united Thursday as school was called off due to a planned two-day walkout by the state's teachers. Thousands of teachers and school service personnel stood in solidarity at the Capitol and local courthouses, ignoring a threat of legal action by the state attorney general to show their outrage over pay, health insurance, and other issues. Our children are missing time today, too, that they so desperately need. And I spend my time feeding a lot of hungry kids, and I would like to be on the job today. But this is more important because we have got to fight for these rights. We're in this fight together, all school personnel. The hot topic for most is the recent proposed changes to the West Virginia Public Employees Insurance Agency, which provides medical insurance to all teachers, service personnel, and other state employees. It's time to wake up and pay our teachers what they deserve. We are tired of fighting, and of course they've used this term over and over. They keep kicking the can down the road. It's time to crush that can and get us the benefits that we need. I'm a school cook. We're the lowest paid in the state. You hand me a 60-40 insurance plan and I can't live. The proposed changes would also eliminate seniority. Wednesday, lawmakers approved a two-year pay raise of 2% the first year and 1% the second. Educators say that's not enough to cover the cost of the proposals. I've not heard one lawmaker say that they'll take a pay cut to give us a surplus on our benefits. I'd like to hear somebody say that. I'd like for Jim Justice to pay his taxes so that we can have a surplus. The work stoppage is also scheduled to continue tomorrow. In Williamson, Shelby Porter, EKB News.